Hi friends, here is another problem. Here we are given a jogging park. Jogging park has got two identical circular tracks touching each other and a rectangular track enclosing the two circles. The edges of the rectangle are tangential to the circles. Two friends A and B start jogging simultaneously from the point where one of the circular tracks touches the smaller side of the rectangular track. A jogs along the rectangular track while B jogs along the two circular tracks in a figure of eight. Approximately how much faster does A have to run so that A and B have to run so that they take the same time to return to the same starting point. Right. In this kind of problems, geometry problems, geometry related problems, first we should draw the diagram properly. So once we draw the diagram, rest of it will become a cake bar. Right. The diagram is not given in the problem. I have drawn this. Let's see. Here is a two identical circular lines. Right. Two identical. That means the radii will be same. Right. This is also radius R. This is also radius R. Structure touching each other. Right. Not intersecting. Please note the difference. If it is intersection, means there will be two points of intersection between two things. If it is touching, means there will be only one point of touching. Right. And rectangular track, which is tangent to the circles. That means outside the circles. Right. Inside the circle, we cannot have a tangent. Right. Tangent means it is going out. It is touching and going out of outside the circle only. Right. Now, here they are saying, a and B are jogging simultaneously from a point where one of the circle track tracks touches the smaller side of the rectangle track. This is the smaller side and one of the circuit sides that is this. You can take this point also or this point. If you are convinced in this case, we are taking this point. And A jogs along the rectangle track. That means A is going like this. Right. A is taking only the rectangular perimeter. Right. And B is going around the circles. He is saying it is going around, making a path which is like figure of A. That means going like this, like this, like this. But doesn't matter. What B is essentially doing is, is completing two circles. Whereas A is completing the full rectangle. Now, how much pass A and B have to run so that they take the same time? Same time, it obviously depends on what is the difference in the distance. Who is covering more? Obviously, B is covering more because A has got two circuits. Who is covering more? Either B or A. Let's see. Whoever is covering more? And then, whoever is covering more? And then, depending on that, uh, the velocity should be, their speed should be, so that they should cover the same time. Same time means whoever has the higher distance should travel at a higher speed, right? How much is A covering? A is going on the rectangle. Rectangle. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 hours. Length is 4 R. Right, 4 R. Length is 4 R. And height is 2 R. Right, 4 R plus 4 R plus 2 R plus 2 R. Right. This is the overall distance the A is covering, right? This is 4, this is 4, 8, then 2, 10, then 2, 12, right? This is a 12 hour per A. What is for B? B is 1, 2 pi R, another 2 pi R. That is 4 pi R. Right? One is 12 hour, another is 4 pi R. Right. Obviously, 4 pi r, 4 into 3 point something, pi is 3 point something. Right. Is greater than 12 r. So, what is the difference? 4 pi r minus 12 r. Right. That is, that is the additional distance b is taking, right? By 12 r into 100 percent, into 100, right? We can remove all r's. Right. And we can simplify this 4 pi minus 12 by 12 into 100, which will give us roughly 4.72%. Right. That's that much B should run faster than A. Right. We should be able to cover that extra distance. Right. Because time is constant, the difference 
in speed should be equal to the difference in distance. And the difference in distance is 4.70%. So the speed difference should be 4.70%. Right. Hope you guys understood this. The problem is again very simple, just like and just that it looks very nice. But in reality, it is very simple. We just need to calculate perimeters of a rectangle and, and a circle. That's it. Thank you, guys.